many years ago it was in the seminary I was diagnosed of a very strange fungal infection it started eating up my head it was a very serious situation I thought it was just a little maybe some issue that antibiotics and the rest will solve the problem but it metamorphosed into something very serious I got to a point where they could not allow me sit in front because it was inconveniencing people no matter how early I came for a program I would have to go to the back now the students love me sincere people but there was a time I had to wait while people are at the dining hall, I would have to wait. After food is shared, my portion will be brought for me. <laughs> they prepared a solution that I would have to rub on my head in the morning and then soap or something in the night. If I forgot to put it one day, it will show. Sometimes there will not be water and I'll have to stand in the rain. Look, let me tell you the truth. Don't claim titles. So I am apostle. I am prophet. Let your scars. He said, let no man trouble me. Hallelujah. I remember the pain and the discomfort one time they, I went to the lab and they had to take some sample. It was so painful to culture it. Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be? You wait. God gave an instruction to go for a crusade. We were just starting. We prayed and we fasted and fasted and fasted. We now went for the crusade, anointed but broke. You would think excelling in one area will cover for the deficiency of another area. Are we together? Preach the gospel with power. There were not many people who were gathered, sincerely speaking. That was the first disappointment. But I was happy at least we were starting. Not more than 50 people. People look at me today and say, Apostle, there is a grace upon you that does this and that. Let me tell you how it came. People don't just listen to you. No. You see, we're opening up these cars for you so that you will know when people honor people it's not human worship they are not honoring just the human vessel they are honoring a man who is a compendium of victory sacrifice endurance hallelujah do you know when we got there the money to pay for the hotel to pay for the sound I asked the sound people to come. It was on credit. Imagine you are a sound man and I'm a preacher shouting the faithfulness of God on a crusade ground. Preaching that God can do everything. There are times you have to preach the truth even if your life does not yet have the results. Because you are, you are bound, listen, you are bound by a covenant to be truthful to God's people. Regardless your experience, you must stand for that truth. I'm showing you a price. It's a serious price. I was done preaching. When the crusade was over, everybody was happy. There were bills and bills. There was no way. They didn't have anybody that you can call and say, help me. The sound people said, listen, we came here and to plead with them look for someone who got some amount to give them and I promised them 
just give me a little time you can imagine how do you i mean on one hand you are celebrating healings and miracles but on a, where is the god who raised somebody the, a blind eye opened how much is the bill that he cannot pay so when we sing today that god is faithful for me it's not a special number there are many stories that make that song come alive let me show you from where the anointing flows the anointing flows through the allowance that your scars have created are we together i remember one time the sound people were sad they were angry and they had threatened that listen this thing was going to become a police case i was not a criminal it was the gospel i was preaching the apostle you celebrate today by the grace of God. I'm telling you some of the stories. Immediately after that tragedy, God helped us, we paid. And the next year, God said, go for a crusade again. And sometimes God will act as if he is not aware, as if he's not aware of everything that happened to you. You failed in a business and you went to complain and say, Lord, I just lost a million dollars, two million dollars. And he says, that's all right. Next week, start again. God for you. He talks to men like he's talking to himself. Hallelujah. But after that time and that season, God opened me up to a realm of glory and grace. I told you for many years, God would not allow me to buy a car. What is it about a car? Oh God, at least to help my mobility. The day I instruct you, I will never forget people will come and meet me with the seed of a car and I'll say, Lord, is this it? And you say, pray for them, bless them and let them go back with it. What a man of God. But the day God began to bless me and to open up doors for me, I'm not saying this to brag, I hope you are learning. I began to see levels of the anointing and levels of grace. And the Lord spoke to me and said, because you survived this, all these things and glorified me in it, I will give you the keys of nations. The keys of territories. Listen, there are positions you don't get politically. No. You are enthroned by his grace. And when God puts you there, the nations know. And listen, you are given authority to lift others too. One time, before the Lord would break me into the realm of wealth and abundance, I was praying. Maybe you've heard me share it minding my business interceding for myself and God's people suddenly my eyes is open from my room and I see this creature looking like a dinosaur giant eyes one of the eyeball was like a human head two of that having a tail that could be detached from itself and it was looking at me with fierce anger and it says so you think you can bring God's people into abundance I had seen the spirit that sits over the finances of people. This is not the issue of business or buying and selling. When I speak over your life and your finances change, let me tell you where the anointing came from. It didn't just come from claiming. It came from deep spiritual encounters. For you. There is an anointing for influence and visibility. You can do all you can and your generation will not know you are there. But there is an unction that can come upon you and cause your voice to be heard. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice and for those who are following and connecting by faith. For some of you, this anointing, you will literally feel something physically coming on you as I'm praying. In the name of Abata Sakataba, the grace for visibility right now right now may that unction come upon you 
May that unction come back, Katoskatia, Embrek Katoskati Babasia. May that grace come upon you. Let me pray for everyone here who is part of this spiritual family and you are into politics and governance. The grace that enthrones in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, may that unction rest upon you right now. Marvelously rest upon you right now. Hear me. When it has to do with wealth and abundance, there are principles of productivity, value, exchange, increase, relationships, negotiations, and all these are valid financial principles. But there is a prophetic dimension to wealth. There is wealth that comes from heaven. He said, by this time tomorrow, I want to pray for you. Because for many people and many families, this is the area of engracing. Things have been tied in your life. I want you to believe it. Don't let the devil tell you that there is no prophetic dimension to wealth. And by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. I pray for you. Everyone who is in Egypt financially, hear the word of the Lord. I prophesy to you, come out now. Come out now. Come out now. 